What's going on you guys? I'm Jordan Giorgio from Chat Sports and it's time for Quick Hitters presented by Game Time, the number one mobile app for last minute sports and concert tickets at the best price in seconds. Go ahead and visit chatsports.com slash tickets to download. Let's get into all the latest news and rumors within the NFL. And first up, after a dead body was found in New York Giants cornerback Janoris Jenkins' home, we later found out that it was a good friend of Jenkins, Roosevelt Renee, who was found. Jenkins' older brother William was arrested on suspicion of felony aggressive manslaughter in the death of Renee. Janoris has made his first public statement on the death on his Instagram. Jenkins acknowledged with regret and sadness the death of Renee, who the cornerback called a good friend, and that the two were working on music together. Jenkins added that this is an ongoing incident. He cannot answer any questions related to the investigation, but is praying for Roosevelt and his family. Next up, this comes from Calvin Watkins of The Athletic. The Dallas Cowboys and defensive end Demarcus Lawrence are expected to discuss a new deal this upcoming week. Lawrence is looking for a big payday and the Cowboys have a little over a week to figure out a new deal as the deadline for franchise tag players to sign a long-term deal is July 16th. Watkins reported that Lawrence is looking for a five-year deal and wants to see what other top pass rushers around the league, such as Jadavian Clowney, Aaron Donald, and Khalil Mack, receive from their teams. Taking it now to Cleveland, where quarterback Tyrod Taylor is turning heads and getting some praise from his teammates. The Browns acquired Taylor through a trade with the Buffalo Bills during the offseason, and the veteran is expected to be the starter ahead of training camp. Browns wideout Jarvis Landry recently appeared on the Rich Eisen show and said that Taylor has looked amazing this offseason. He added, quote, his leadership, his arm, his accuracy, he's ready, man. He's the starting quarterback. President Trump is back in the NFL headlines. This time, he's commenting on the new national anthem policy that was put in place that will, will require players on the field to stand or stay in the locker room. During a rally in Montana yesterday, Trump repeatedly called the new NFL policy worse than the one it replaced. He added in response to players being able to stay in locker rooms, quote, I think in many respects, that's worse. Isn't it that worse than not standing? But before we continue, I wanna know from you guys, Will players still kneel for the anthem this season? Go ahead and get your reactions in. Give me a heart for yes, a like for no, or send me a message on Instagram at Jordan Giorgio and let me know what you think. But before we sign off, you have to check out this video that 49ers wideout Marquise Goodwin posted on his Instagram, surprising his mother and sister who have cerebral palsy with a new home. Goodwin said that his sister has been a lifelong inspiration to him when the doctors told their mother that she would not live beyond six months. She continues to overcome all odds because on September 17th, she will be celebrating her 27th birthday.